In today's video, I will show you how to fix iPhone 7 water damage. Back to Ayman Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman Darpair Tech channel, my name is Ayman. First we have to inspect the board under the microscope to see where is the damaged parts and mark those parts so we can come later after cleaning the motherboard and check if there is a problem, there is corrosion or uh, disconnection or short. And if you are a customer and watching this video right now and you always hear about treating water damaged electronics by a rice, so tell me how the rice will absorb those uh, minerals in water and how the rice gonna fix those corroded components no way if you dropped your phone in a water take it to a technician immediately if you have access to the battery remove the battery if you don't have it switch off the phone and run to the nearest professional repair shop near you because the longer you wait more corrosion will happen when the customers come too late we cannot help them and most of the time they lose their data there's a solution for that to take some parts here which have the data like the cpu and the nand chip and baseband and put it in a different board but this cost too much money not all the customers accept to do that only if you have a very very important data you don't want to lose so i can see that this area is the most corroded area let's remove here and see what's underneath oh wow oh wow oh wow oh wow oh my god how the rice can clean this this need ultrasonic cleaning and replacing a lot of those parts. I'm observing the condition of the PCP so I can take a decision if I want to continue fixing this phone or this phone need a swap, a board swap to inform the customer if it's need a board swap it will cost him around $250 and uh, I don't know if he gonna accept that or not so this area looks clean and this chip is the Wi-Fi chip it has glue around it so this water cannot go underneath I see water here on the side I see it underneath water water and here as well i have to remove this uh shield discover oh my god yeah so let's see if we can fix that i will put some flux because the flux will help to clean the rust in the ultrasonic cleaning machine it's a machine we put inside distilled water and cleaning solution it cleans the board using ultrasonic waves and now after the ultrasonic cleaning process is done I will put the PCP in alcohol 99% alcohol to get rid of the distilled water and then I will use the hot air on temperature 150 up to 200 to get rid of the alcohol and this is the final result after ultrasonic cleaning just very minor details need to be taken care That area before was ruined by rust. If you are interested to buy ultrasonic cleaner, don't buy the cheap ones. I will leave a link down below under the video for my ultrasonic. 
check its price and its review on Amazon, it's amazing. Now let's connect this board to the power supply. Some people will tell me why you didn't connect it before. It's, it's useless to connect it before. I, I see the rust with my own eyes. Why I would uh, flow electricity in a rusty board like that? Now let's see. And I have 8 milliamps uh, leak. Let's turn the phone on. It's turning on, but it's not uh, completing the boot cycle. Let's check under the backlight and under the display power chip. If there is uh, still a water. Of course, there is a water. Wow. Here is okay, here is fine. Let's see on the chip. Not quite fine. Dirt and rust. This chip, of course, a lot of rust before. Hmm. Dirt. Everywhere. Every cap I will see it's like too much corroded, I will knock it off. I see you and you, goodbye, you down there, yes, get off, okay, there is one here. I need this chip to turn the phone on and this one and this one display backlight charging uh, this one is not mandatory just to check if the phone will turn on then if there is another issue we'll go with it All the missing parts, of course, if it's important, I will replace it. But there is some caps just for filtering and bypassing. Uh, it's not necessary. And uh, if the customer wants uh, an intact board, like everything on the board, I would recommend him to go for board swap, not for repair. Because repair, this is... What we do, we remove the tiny components which will not affect the uh, PCB. It will take us a long time to replace all of these tiny components. But what I remove, it really will not affect you. You will not feel like uh, I have this problem because this part is removed. Of course, the company put it for a reason, but you are not buying a new phone. This is not a new phone. It's a used phone. It's a damaged phone. We are converting it from damaged, useless phone to a working condition, uh, to a working phone in a good working condition. I will get those from donor board. Okay, let me, before I put any display, any backlight chips, let me check the board on the power supply. Let's turn the phone on and see. Of course, it will not show any uh, 
display or something but it will show me that it's booting or no and uh, I see yeah it's booting yeah the phone is turning on I know I have uh, some people following me who are uh, customers or uh, some people enjoying watching this kind of videos uh, you are always welcome and they may wonder if this liquid I put is a uh, glue or something no this is uh, flux it help the solder to flow these caps need a replacement come here come looks very rusty let's see if we have progress at this stage I should get uh, image with no light I should see the Apple logo with no light I made a mistake I put that chip in the opposite side this uh, dot should be here and uh, when I connected to the power supply I saw that the phone is drawing too much amps that means a short and that's because my mistake yes that's a very good flux now I can see the Apple logo with no light we are going forward this is the light of my microscope but I can see the Apple logo let me wait till I see if the phone will open or no the phone is consuming uh, more amps yeah it's open you can see number five Yay! okay we are having progress let's put the backlight driver Okay, because this cap is almost ruined, I want to check if this uh, backlight circuit, because now I put the backlight driver, the one creating the light for the display, I want to check if this circuit has a short or no, it's safe to start the phone. We have backlight and we have display and the phone is working initially we still don't know if we have a problem i need to call the customer now for the password and the phone is working fine you can see it don't know you cannot see it or you can 12 seconds later and the touch is not working oh another problem i hate water damaged phones and some people they tell you just put it in their eyes just put it in their eyes and some shops they say yeah, just clean the phone some customers and some technicians they are those people are not technicians they just pretend to be technicians and some customers act like they are technicians and they tell you just clean the phone just clean it's very easy why you charge me a hundred dollars for cleaning a phone i'm sure from this uh, display because it's my test display so let's check what's wrong with touch this chip uh, was corroded let's check if this has anything related to touch yes pp1 v8 touch corrosion corrosion 
but this chip is not uh, for actually touch but it was related to PV1V8 touch which uh, supply voltage to the uh, touch ID but I just removed it to check underneath what's going on this corrosion maybe was ruining the touch if not then I will come to the display connector and measure diode mode value nope no touch is still not working let's measure diode mode values wow that's so fast this line should give me ol it's connected to a resistor where else from the resistor to this capacitor and this resistor by mistake I uh, knocked off the resistor here but it's okay so from here I don't have a short and from there I have a short so the short is, is in this line and this line has two caps one of them is creating this short C4711 it's here here under the underfill here yeah, looks ruined that one is a filter and it's very important I have to make a jumper here and put back the resistor here This one should not be OL. This one should have a resistance. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Number six is connected to a filter here. This one. This filter is uh, cut. Okay, let's check number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Unlock. Unable to activate. Emergency. Touch is working. Okay, I got the password. Now let's do the final test. Of course, the touch ID will not work because it's heavily corroded. Let's check back camera working, front camera working, uh, Wi Fi working, but no signal because no antenna, baseband working voice hello everyone welcome back to i'm under repair, repair tech everything seems to be working this repair took me two hours and it will cost the customer a hundred dollars i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my coming videos till then my work is done i'll see you next one bye guys